Hey guys, Thomas Bart here with Trekify, and uh, this is an interesting video. It's a little bit of a developer's lab. <laughs> Welcome to Trackify. And you can see I have a ClickFunnels page here. This is an order page. And by the way, this is kind of in response to a question. And thank you for asking the question. Thank you for asking the question, Terence Chu. So I think it's uh, commonly interesting to answer this question, although this gets a little bit deeper, and that's why I'm calling it the developer's lab, okay? So check it out. What happens here is on this, um, on this checkout page, when you get to it from presumably the, the landing page of your, uh, of your uh, ClickFunnels funnel, uh, you're going to get an add to cart event here. And the add to cart event is filled with specific product information for the product that is on this checkout event. So I didn't bother modifying the template here. So just imagine that this is a piece of jewelry um, that is selling in your, in your Shopify store. So this is retrieved. The data here is coming from your Shopify store when you have a reference to that product ID in the code. I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So the trick here is, this trick number one is how to fire the add to cart event right here. And then the second trick, that was the actual question that Terrence had, is how do I get to fire the initiate checkout event when I go to the second step, okay? So basically we want to kind of emulate, all right, we're going to have add to cart here when we put the product here and then when we go to the next step after we fill this all out then we're going to have um, the uh, initiate checkout event fire here and so that's exactly what happens so once you fill this all out here you click go to step two you can see you can see the initiate checkout event is firing right here and there you can see all the product related information is in the initiate checkout event as well so now let's take a look inside ClickFunnels uh, and check out how we did this. So here's the two-step order form, and you just go to Edit Page, and what you want to do is you want to access the settings up here and go into the tracking code settings. And there are two pieces here. There's a header code and a footer code, okay? And we're going to put something into each of them. The header code is the easy part, okay? Header code is easy because all we want to do is we want to add um, or generate an add to cart event right here, all right? So in order to do that, we come over to your Trackify, uh, and in Trackify, you have, over here in the Trackify menu, you have the code generator. And in the code generator, simply what you do is you, you click here the variant or the product that you want to promote, and then you click the this here is, is is set to full for the add to cart event then you click on add to cart and you make sure this here is full okay then you just click into this field you copy the script and you paste it over here into the header code okay so this exact script right here is what generates the add to cart event when this page loads when this checkout page loads okay so that's that so that's number one now for the footer code, it's a little bit more complicated, and maybe we're going to actually, you know, generate something, put an extra field into the code generator to make that a little bit easier. So for the footer code, you have to puzzle some stuff together. And uh, what we do here is we take this code. I'm going to post this uh, with where wherever I put the video. I'm going to post this, and you have to put put this together in a specific way. Okay, so you, you take this code, and you can see here. Here's a specific URL in here, and that is a call to Trackify, and we're going to get that call to Trackify also from the Trackify code generator. So in order to generate that call, that call URL that goes into this script that is here, the you know the larger script here, you just go to the code generator, you switch this over to events only, you click on initiate checkout, and this is now generating this URL. You can see it right here, right here, from here to here, right? That is the URL. This is the actual call that will generate the uh, initiate checkout event uh, for you when you insert that into this larger script here. So again, I have to give you that larger script here, and then I'm going to give you 
I'm going to show you again. So this here, you have to kind of take this apart. Unfortunately, you can't really highlight this because this is set to always highlight the entire code so you don't make any mistakes. So you have to pay, you know, copy this out into a notepad document and, uh, and then just take this URL line out, this right here that says source between the quotation marks right here. You take this highlighted, uh, this highlight, highlighted piece out and insert it into this script here and then you put the whole thing into the footer code. All right. So there you go. There you have that part. And I hope this answers your question, Terence, and solves your, uh, solves your issues there in probably a better way than you thought would be possible. And uh, I'll leave it at that. We may, um, like I said, enhance the code generator to actually accommodate uh, this particular situation here so that it's going to be even easier for you to insert the script. All right. This is Thomas Barker from the Trackify Lab, <laughs> Developers Lab, and I'm signing off right now. Thanks. Bye.